Hello. Thank you for being on the Malaysian Insights 10 questions with young leaders. Can you introduce yourself? Hello, my name is Wan Ahmad Faizal, Wan Ahmad Kamal. I'm a member of uh, uh, Senate in Malaysia, currently serving as Deputy Youth and Sports Minister and also the Youth Chief of Bersatu. Maybe when did you join politics? I joined politics informally when I was still a student in university when we realised that there are much injustices need to be addressed. But formally speaking, I just joined Bersatu after the general election. But before that, I was always involved in our struggle against saving the country uh, that was ridden with all the scandals out there. What led you into politics? I think politics is an avenue for me to make change and contribute to the betterment of the country. I believe that Malaysia deserves better representation among young leaders and politics is one of the places that direly needs those representations. So, YB, where are we right now? We are at the Academy Kenegaraan. Used to be what we call Biro Tata Negara, but currently under KBS, it is, place, it is a place where we train young leaders in nation building. A lot has happened politically in Malaysia this year. What do you think about the current political situation? Things are a bit messy and quite destabilizing, but I have faith in our country's leadership, especially the Prime Minister, Yang Mak Muhammad Transi Mudin Yassin. We are now focusing solely in serving and resolving our people's problems, especially in elevating the pain and suffering that have been affected or afflicted upon us due to the COVID-19 pandemic. You yourself are, are a youth leader. Um, do you think there should be more youth participation? Of course and definitely we must because that's the only way for us to survive as a country. Without youth leaders' representation in our politics, in our government, much of our policy planning will be very much uh, backdated and cannot plan for a better future because the future belongs to the youth. And if you were chosen to stand in GU15, what are the changes that you want to bring? I would like to see a changes, many changes in our industrial policy where hopefully we can create catalytic changes or improvements and turning Malaysia into Asian tiger like any other small young nation in Asia. What do you like to do in your free time? I love to read and I do play video games. I own a PlayStation 4, but sometimes only. Speaking of reading, right? What was the last book you read? I've read uh, the work written by His uh, Royal Highness Sultan Nazrin Shah, where he wrote about the history of economy of our country, the past, the present, and the possible future. It's a good book where I think all Malaysians should read, especially the young ones, about nation building. Fabi, what are your aspirations? I would like to see the country to become more progressive. At the same time, we are not apologetic about our past. We should cherish the tradition, the culture and civilizational legacy of our people that came from various places, especially those who are from Alam Melayu or the Nusantara, and also those from other uh, major nations before, like China, India. I think Malaysia can set a good example to the world how civilization can mingle together. Okay, my final question for you. Who is your idol? My idol, politically speaking, is Tun Dr. Mahathir Mohamad. I believe he's a renowned and strong global statesman. And I hope to help him and other Malay leaders to resolve the Malay dilemma issues. And that's one of the primary reasons I joined politics. Okay, Warby, that concludes our interview. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you, bye. Come and join me in the campaign. <laughs>